Hello again, everyone. Day 23, the time is going. Day 23, I've had a look, I've had a think, and I'll show you what it is. It is a door. So, a door. What to do with the door? I thought I would have a little somebody sitting on the doorstep. So, looking through my dies, I came across the little elf. And I thought, oh, that's, that's terrific. That's absolutely great. But when I started cutting and placing and all this kind of stuff, he was sort of facing the wrong way. I'll show you what I mean. Here is my, I've cut a bunch of doors and I've got, um, did I cut, where's my elf? Here he is. I cut out an elf and a reindeer because they're facing different directions. So here's a bunch of doors. I'm going to sort of, you know what I do. I do stuff with doors, uh, with dies rather. So if I had him on there, and up, this is my card panel, for example, here. There's my, thought I'd get a bigger one because this is kind of a big die. Um, if I had that there, like that, and I sat him on it, he would be kind of looking away. I suppose I could put him that side. But then I got the reindeer and I thought, I, I just have fancy for this on this side, really. Reindeer can sit there. I looked out some um, wall, brick, you know, stone type dies. And I thought I could have the impression of some of those by the side there. And I thought this little chap could be telling a joke because I bought this set. They're called um, Cracker Jokes, I think, from Creative Expressions. And there's one that says, who is Santa's favourite singer? And it's Elf Is Presley. <laughs> I did wonder whether I could have him telling the joke to him. But I didn't know what he could be sitting on just by outside the door. Or whether perhaps a, a pot or a box or, or something. I don't know. But I have a fancy for putting these. as just, These are like the previous uh, day's um, dies. These are embossing dies rather than cutting out dies so when you come to put them down with one like this you've kind of got to get it straight so what I did was this I've drawn a line on the back which tells me that is horizontal I'll show you how I did it I put this onto here like this and the lines are going across the top of this ruler so all I did then was turn it over and I drew with a Sharpie along that the back of that line. So I know that if I put this this way up and I have that horizontal, that is going to be level. Likewise, I did the same with this. Put it like this, looked at it, got one of these lines level with the top of my ruler. That must have been that one there. Got it level with the ruler and just drew with a sharpie on the back. So I know that that should be a horizontal line. The proof of the pudding will come in to whether I get it right on here. So I thought I'd just have a couple of bits of of of, of stone wall, perhaps like that. And then my door can go there and he can go there. And I've got this tiny, it's, it's a very small, this is my joke. <laughs> What is, who is Santa's favourite? He doesn't really fit there, it's got to go there. I don't know whether to use him or, or just pretend he's talking to whoever's reading the card. Anyway, that's going to kind of come later. Let me just put these away so I don't get them lost. I think I will do these first of all. If I have my door there, that's going to be vertical. These have got to be horizontal. I think I'm going to put a bit of tape on because I don't want them to shift. So let's have, that looks pretty horizontal to me. One there. 
And we'll soon see if it is, won't we, in a moment when it's been through the machine. Is that about equidistant? I think that's okay. Okay, put that on there like that. So, these are going to... Now, let me just see. It needs to go onto here for my for embossing. No, it doesn't. What am I talking about? It's a regular die, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sake, Christine, get to grips. These embossing dies, you cut as a regular die. So let's now put a longer one. I don't want to leave a line across here. Okay. Right. Right, let's see if we've got this as we're supposed to have it. There we go. Take them away. One. And two, and the, and that can go there. I think that's fine, and they are level, so that's a bit of luck, isn't it? So that can just go away for a minute. I think I'm going to leave these as is. I don't know. I may add a bit of colour later. I don't know. Now, as to the door, why I have cut several is that this bit of the door is going to be the furthest away from us. Then this bit next, and this is going to be right in the foreground. So, um, do I want that to be double, or will it be just all right single? I think it'll probably be okay single. Let me colour. So, this is the first, first thing of all, I'm going to colour the door and I can colour it and I can go over the lines because I'm going to put another one over the top to do the next the next colour with the door cut out. So let's have some door colours. I think I'll go all over first of all with something sort of bland. This is sand castle. So let's go all over with sand castle. Now, let's put some shading in. Let's have hazelnut truffle. Okay, so we'll go down the edge of each of these panels. I'm doing the left hand side of each of the panels. We have a bit of shading going around here as well. Underneath. It's all falling apart, but it's, it'll hold together. Let's put some of the, just going over the embossed lines from the die cut itself. Okay. Right, now we'll go over with something else. Coconut shell. Let's try this one. The old yoky door kind of thing. Shading accentuated.
just using about every brown I've got. Just wonder if I need to put some little black bits in. We'll see. Okay, right, there's my door. Let's put these away. <clears throat> and we'll stick on the next layer, which will be the bit minus the door. It's only holding on in this one tiny little corner down here. That's all it needed, and the door's gone. Okay, now we'll stick this bit on. And this bit is going to be sort of stone colour. Okay. I'm going to colour this dark a bit in here. And I probably should have done it before I did put it, stuck it onto the door, shouldn't I? If I had been sensible. It is raised from the door though, so I can actually just avoid that bit of door. Which is a bit of luck. I think I should have coloured it before I stuck it on. Add a little bit more shading. Oh, what's this? Is that the darkest grey I've got? Oh no, black smoke we've got here. This one will probably do. Add just a bit of shading underneath each of the stones and it should be okay. Right, smooth this one out with this one. Now I'm going to do the next one before I stick it on, so I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to have the problem of um, maybe not getting it absolutely accurately coloured. Right, that's that one. Now I want this one out as well. Oh, I'm cutting two at once. Right, don't know if I need one of these. Right, this one is just the outer bit there, which I want as a lighter grey than that one. Right, so a lighter grey. Back at the, the light of these can be my shading, so I need a lighter grey again. What's this one? Turtle Dove. Oh, that's nice. Sounds good, doesn't it? Might be a bit too light. We'll see. Let's colour it all in first and then we'll see. Some of this one is, is shading, so It's got some little dots which I'll just go over. Okay, now I'm 
Now we smooth back over with this one. looks like mm, it's quite nice isn't it right let me put these away take a look at what we've got and we have to color the, the I need that back probably to color the reindeer in let's just see here's my panel it is Where's my door when it's stuck together? The joke should go there. And he can sit on there. I think, do I need to do some vague colouring on this? Perhaps with just a bit of... Um, watercolor pencil just to just to you know link it link it in just a, a little let me see i've got a gray that matches this this outer one not really ah that greeny gray may help a bit of that and a bit of perhaps this one let's just see i can always do another card another card base if i make a pig for breakfast of it let's just see let me try it on a bit of something else first let's just try it on here It's not really. Not really the right colour. <laughs> Just take these away. Let's just see. Okay. Just a very little. I think this will be enough. Just a hint of colour. Just move it, move it around a little bit. There we are. I think that'll do. Right, just got to colour my chap and put my sentiment on and I think we'll be in business. Just wondering whether that's enough let me just do him. Let's just do him. Uh, put these colours back again. We'll put him with a different... What was this one? Sandcastle. I think that's what we started with. With that one, wasn't it? Let's just see. That's what I'll do for that.
Stonehenge. We'll do that for his antlers. Is he going to show up? Let's just see. I think he will. I mustn't make him too dark. I used hazelnut truffle before. Perhaps I'll make him darker. Let's just make a... Okay, a few shady bits. And... Brown sugar. <laughs> just want a, a, a slight bit of colour over his tummy but not quite as dark as that let's just try Now we need a little bit of white for his eye. And when it's dry, I can put the black in. It's too much for a start. Oh, it's all right, it'll come off. That's fine. Okay, let's give him a black, little bit of black for his eye. There's a skinny black pen. Oh, wait, this is a bit fine. Let's put some colour over the top. I've made a bit of a mess of that. together. Right, some glue. we go. Now is he going to show up? Not terribly well, does he? He doesn't show up terribly well. Um, I think we're going to have to do another one of him and make him a slightly different shade. He's too much like the He's too much like the ones at the, the back of the door, really. Let's make him... Could do them a bit more sort of... Beige, not beige, but... Um, Greyish, grey, greyish brown, if you know what I mean, rather than yellowy brown. He's, he's a bit too... I like the Stonehenge for his... Oh, there's a Stonehenge gone. Looking straight at them and I can't see what I want. This is Ancient Fossil.
<laughs> Ridiculous. Dark Slate. That'll do. I'm going to have to warm it up with something, but not too bad at the moment. He'll show up a bit better now. Let's have a look. Does he show up better? I think so. Right, we'll put him on top of there. I'll have to give him his eyes later. Right. Then we're getting there, we're getting there. It's a slow, slow old process today for some reason. There he is. Right, let's just try his eyes again. This is my jelly roll. I think that one was a bit flat actually, that was a 10. This one is a five. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Right. Pop these away. And let's just see. There's my door. Going to go there. There's my chap. Going to go there. And my sentiment is here. Who is Santa's favourite singer? Elvis Presley. Let's get a block. A bit long, this one. Uh, what have we got here? This one be okay. Looks like it. Who is Santa's favourite singer? Right. Just do this in black, I think. That one's morning mist. I don't want morning mist. I want black. Nocturne. Let's try, whoops. Try this chair. Now I haven't used this stamp before. I'm just going to rub it on the back of my on the back of my hand as a bit of preparation. They don't sometimes take um, ink the first time. Who? Oh, I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. I need to get this straight. Who is? Santa's favourite singer, Elvis Presley. There we go. Right, we'll stick this down, we'll stick that down, and we bob away. Right. I'll just make sure any little bits of adhesive from the tape runner are folded underneath so they don't show. I'll pop that in right there. 
we will stick him. I think we might stick him with a glue dot, actually. Let's try him with a glue dot, shall we? Or two. One behind his bottom. One behind his head. And I'll add just a little bit of liquid glue to his legs, I think. Took me a long time, this one, didn't it? Goodness me. There we are. Let's pop him on to his position. Here we go. Who is Santa's favourite singer? <laughs> it's so silly. Elvis Presley. Oh my goodness. I just wonder if I need a bit of shading and things around here. Maybe just do a little bit of this kind of carry on. Just a little grounding. There we are. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know. There we are, day 23. Not long to go, people, when we're getting there. I hope you're all keeping well, keeping happy and uh, having fun. So, with any luck, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching.